ቀሺ ቴንክ ዩ ትንሽ መልሰዋል ከኢትሪየም ጋር የታዘ ነው ጥያቄ ከቢትኮይን ጋር በብዛት ከዲሴንትራላይዜሽን ስኬሉ ጋር ለያየው ግን ከዩዝ ኬዝ አንጻር ሪሰንትሊ ብዙ ሰዎች ኢትሪየም አሁን የሚፈልጉበት ምክንያት ዲጂታል አሴትስ ለመግዛት ነው such as nfts so ከዛ አንጻር how do you see it like buying ethereum well for uh, if i'm speaking to an artist however you sell your art is good you know so if that's on ethereum if that's on any other protocol well and good and you're right there does seem to be a lot of activity on the ethereum protocol there seems to be a lot of um uh, marketplaces for art so nft uh, he mentioned it it stands for uh, non fungible token so to explain it simply bitcoin and bir and dollar and you know all of these currencies are fungible malat yane dollar na yante dollar ekul no minim milayew neger yellem malat bir ihun inji but when it comes to nft you're adding non in front of that which is uh it, it's not tradable it's not you know fungible it's unique there's something about that thing that's very unique now my problem with nfts on ethereum is one ethereum the nodes exist on amazon web services so if amazon web services fails your ethereum will also be a little hard to manage one point of failure two um I think that's my only concern. NFT and then also NFT, I mean it, I don't see it as very innovative uh because I can essentially sign something, date something, give it to you and say that's blockchain. You know, there's one block. There's no chain. Then but whatever you wanted, beti hun, contract hun, art piece hun, bazza melk li zat ichilalu. So I think with a lot of things like NFT and web3, it's great for artists because there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of money. So however that artist that photographer can make their money well and good they can change it to bitcoin or dollars later on you know uh again when it comes from an investment standpoint or even a technical standpoint it's less interesting for me um again for artists definitely you know uh, there's a uh, gas fee 70 dollars to mint and i'm as soon as soon calculate arga ma wata kona well and good